Hi there, welcome to your Wellness Wednesday Facebook Live. You're here with Chelsea Marie from ChelseaMarieCoaching.com. And this week's hot topic is all about matcha. So first I wanna say if you're new, um, thank you so much for stopping by. I show up here, hi Marilyn, I show up here every single week and I share a new health and wellness tip. Um, if you really don't know at all who I am or what I'm about, I'm a board certified health coach and I help professional women who wanna feel amazing in their body um, while creating their impact in the world but are struggling with energy and overwhelm. And if you are a regular, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate all your comments, your likes, everything that you guys bring to the table. I am so grateful for it. And I highly, highly, highly am just so happy to see you here and uh, just to see all your support. So uh, once again, for this week's topic, I wanna share some information um, all about matcha and how you can use it either as an anti-aging purpose or you can use it to help you um, lose weight if that's your goal. Or if you're looking to come off coffee and you really just wanna find a nice way to balance your mood but also give you that boost that keeps you energized throughout the entire day without burning out. So um, I'll start off with the anti-aging properties. The anti-aging properties with matcha is extremely unique because it actually carries a very unique, potent antioxidant that's not actually found in very many foods or even other herbs. This is known as epigallocatechin um, gallate. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know how to say that one properly. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Otherwise you might know it as EGCG. This is typically what you see it as on the shelf when you go to the health food stores. So most people will purchase a bottle of EGCG not really knowing 100% what it is. Um, it's mainly stemmed from the matcha green tea or green tea overall and it's an antioxidant. You can use it to reverse any kind of oxidative stress that's happening in the body. Um, it's also really good on its own for weight loss. So just to talk about antioxidants and how it actually helps your body um, when it comes with the whole aging process. If you're not 100% familiar with how it works and what it does, if you were to take an apple and you were to cut it up and you were to place it out on your countertop, you'll find that within a couple of hours or even by the next day, it's starting to brown. So this is when it's starting to oxidize, it's starting to age. If you were to put the apple on the counter and squeeze some fresh lemon juice all over it, the lemon juice carries these antioxidants that actually help to protect it and prevent it from damaging um, and from aging. So that's exactly how antioxidants work in, in your body. So when you're consuming the matcha green tea, it's extremely loaded in this one specific unique antioxidant. This catechin specifically helps the body fight through radical damage from UV, um, from what else, heavy metals, um, from pollutions, um, any kind of chemicals that we're really surrounded by in our environment that are going to either, you know, attack your DNA and just cause your body to start aging. So incorporating this into your diet specifically just as a way to help with um, oxidation and also just to help your body keep itself young and forever, it's going to be an amazing tool. Plus, it's going to add so much more to your diet as well. So as for weight loss, what's really unique about matcha green tea is it has this thermogenesis ability. So it actually increases your body's core temperature, allowing your body to burn more calories, but also to burn more fat. So typically on an average daily base, that percentage is about eight to 10% um, with our body's natural ability to burn our calories. When you incorporate the matcha green tea, it actually increases that to about 35 to 45%. And what's really unique too is the EGCG, that specific antioxidant, actually helps your body to burn more fat, not just to burn more calories. So that part right there, if you are looking to, um, if you're looking to lose more weight, if you want to just incorporate something into your diet to help maintain your weight, I would highly recommend trying this out and seeing what it can do for you. Now, this last part here, the energy part, is really what drew me to matcha. 
a while back I was you know around winter time I was I had so many deadlines and I was starting to drink coffee I'm not a huge coffee drinker I'm very sensitive to it if I drink even like a little bit I mean it does it boosts up your mood it boosts up your energy but you get a really hardcore crash from it too not everyone I find gets the exact same effect but I'd say about 90% of people come to me with wanting to replace caffeine from their diet because they find it's the only thing that really gets them out of bed and really gets their energy up and going but in saying that it really also burns out your adrenals and it's really harsh on your body so when I was you know back in January looking for substitutions I came across this tea blend from Chai Baba if you guys have a Chai Baba um, anywhere near you if you guys are in Kelowna or if you can order it I highly recommend it what was really unique about it was the it wasn't just a source of energy that I was getting from it it was a really incredible source of focus so I had never really had that from just a green tea before so as I was doing the research I was finding that it was all based on the matcha and then I started incorporating matcha just by itself into my diet matcha you can usually find in like tin cans like this um, it's a loose powder and what's really unique about it is the matcha um, they actually use the entire leaf. So when you drink regular green tea, you're getting all these minerals, all these nutrients from the leaves, but you're not, because you're not, you know, eating or consuming the whole leaf, you're not getting as high as nutritional content or all the properties that it can really offer you. So with matcha, they actually stone grind it down and that's what's so unique. It's a really loose powder that you can just incorporate in hot water, you can incorporate it into a latte, and you actually consume the fiber, you consume the entire higher plant. But with matcha, what makes it so unique and really stand out from any other type of green tea or caffeine or any other kind of black tea whatsoever, is it gives you this sense of energy that's also really grounded. It's grounded, you're focused, um, it, and what's also really cool is it's actually stabilized. It actually releases into your system throughout the day, not just all at once, the same way that caffeine would. Caffeine just spikes your blood sugar level, um, or sorry, your blood, and it ins you know insulin starts skyrocketing and affects your body in a whole different way. So with the matcha, the caffeine in it, which is like a third the amount for a cup of coffee, is actually released on a slow pace throughout your um, throughout the day um, but what's also really cool is its amino acid complex it's actually really high in L-theanine so L-theanine is an amino acid that naturally crosses the blood-brain barrier. Not a lot of things will do this. So the fact that it does cross the blood-brain barrier, what it does is it actually stimulates the neurotransmitter GABA and it also triggers dopamine. GABA and dopamine give you that sense of relaxation. It puts your body into a whole different state. It actually releases alpha brain waves in your brain, which puts you into that whole meditative state where you can be created creative, where you're relaxed. When your body is stressed out and you're overwhelmed, you're producing beta waves. This is your fight or flight mode. This is when your body is in that panic mode. Your body is actually using sugar as a source of fuel, which is creates a lot of acids in your body. So when your body can actually flip over into that rest and repair mode, your body can actually burn more fat. It can actually use fat as a source of fuel because it doesn't need that fast source of fuel for that fight or flight source of energy. So the fact that it actually flips you over into that rest or repair probably has a really big reason why it helps so much with weight loss. But once again, that's why it gives you, you know, it gives you this energy from the caffeine, but with the L-theanine and the other amino acids, it really gives you this wonderful sense of feeling grounded. So if you do struggle with anxiety, if you find that caffeine gives you heart palpitations, I would highly just try out the matcha, see if that works for you. Um, it's actually something that um, Buddha monks have used for hundreds and hundreds of years they meditate for all hours of the day and they found that they wanted something that helped to keep them alert but that also kept them into a state that was blissful and that's exactly what they found the matcha was doing for them was that actually would help with their meditation but it also helped with their spiritual enlightenment and that's mainly because the form of amino acids in it put you into this state where you're alert but you're also calm and you're relaxed 
So that was one thing I really just wanted to bring to the table because I know that so many people right now really do struggle with energy and you know there are so many stimulants that you can purchase especially caffeine and they're so hard on your system you know as high as it's going to bring you up is as fast as it's going to bring you down as well. So as I mentioned before with the matcha green tea it's so unique because it has that unique variety of antioxidants that help to keep you young forever. It has the ability to burn uh, fat but also to burn more calories because it really does increase your body's ability to burn more from about 8% to about 35 to 45%. And once again, because the caffeine in it is so low, it doesn't actually give you the jitters. And because it's really uniquely high in L-theanine and other amino acids, it gives you that sense of energy, but also that sense of focus and clarity, that sense of feeling grounded. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this live. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down below. I will always get back to them as soon as I can. If you guys have personally tried matcha or if matcha is one of your go-tos, please feel free to list what you've experienced with it down below. I'm sure others would love to hear about it. And uh, yeah, so don't feel free, don't feel, you know, feel free to tag someone down here if you feel like this could also benefit them as well. Anyways, that is it for today's topic. I will be back here next week. As I mentioned in my last video, I won't be showing up here every single Wednesday at that 1230 time. Um, from now until September, my schedule has really shifted. So I'm going to be popping up weekly, probably, but well, for the most part, between Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Wednesdays more often, but at times it will be the Monday and Tuesday. So if you want to know ahead of time when to catch me on the live, opt in to my newsletter, which you can find at chelseamariecoaching.com. When you hop on to my newsletter, you'll get that free five day slim down with amazing smoothie recipes to detox your body and to boost your mood and to give you more energy. And then you'll also get on the list. So every single week, you know, ahead of time when I'll be popping up on the live and um, when you can catch me. Anyways, you guys have an amazing day and I'll be back here next week. Bye.